All right, boys, LCQ, last chance to qualify. It's the last chance for Madden Bowl, the last Madden tournament of the year, pretty much. Everybody that has points made it already in the Madden Bowl. There's going to be 14 players getting in the Madden Bowl. Only 32 people qualify for this tournament, so it's super sweaty. The ladders were super tough. Uh, if you're not in the top 32, every other tournament was top 250. A lot more lax, a lot more easy to qualify. So you had to be on your A game during the ladders. I already posted one of my ladder games, uh, so it definitely was a sweaty weekend. Definitely great Madden games. I hope you guys tuned in on Twitch. That link is below for you guys if you haven't watched those games live. We are farming. We did hit 40K. Shout out to the 40K. If you are one of the 40K subscribers, please. Please let me know down in the comments if you've been here. How long have you been here? When did you start subbing? If you haven't, please hit that sub button. This is the last tournament. We did qualify. We did get into the top 10, so we're going to have a pretty good draw. Let me show you guys the team I use. Now, you guys did watch that video yesterday, My one of my ladder games, when I used Mark Brunel. I like Mark Brunel. If you guys have him, if you use him, let me know. He's pretty decent. The left-handed thing was a little throwing me off a little bit, so I went back to Elway. So what did that mean? That mean I had to put two more AP on my quarterback. What did I use that two AP on Brunel? Two red zone threats, right? So two red zone threats. For me, red zone threats are are good, you know, to throw the ball up one-on-one -on -one and get touchdowns, right? So I like to put them on tight ends. That way I can come out in a formation that's tight end heavy, even if it's shotgun bunch and sub my tight ends in. That way I can be able to audible down into goal line. So they have to have heavy run defense out there, and then maybe it'll leave my tight ends one-on-one -on -one so I can throw some aggressive catch red zone threat touchdowns. So I have to add two more tight ends that get one AP red zone threat, right? One of them I added was Ditka easy to put him in a tight end the other one i wanted to add was zach Ertz because i already had him for eagles theme team and he's six foot five he's big and he gets rise with that for one so i wanted to add zach Ertz, but i couldn't put him at tight end because that would make mess up my legends theme team and what did the chat tell me to do put him at long snapper which works you can put a tight end at long snapper doesn't do anything great on paper right great on paper worked well and let me show you guys what happened. Boom. So we come back here. Now I want to go back to Elway. So what I do is I put Joe Thomas at long snapper. I just go ahead and sub in my first, my biggest, you know, my best offensive lineman at long snapper. It doesn't matter. But the problem with that is you guys know when you move a player in a lineup, it turns off their abilities. Right? And normally you're always aware of this of wide receivers, running backs, because you're always moving around wide receivers and running backs and things like that. Because, you know, that's pretty often. So you always go over and click their, their ability back on. But you never really move your linemen. So what didn't I do? I didn't activate Joe Thomas's threat detector and edge protector. So we're going to play an entire $30,000 tournament game without threat detector and without edge protector and honestly it's not like you're in there without quarterback abilities it's not like you're in there without short and elite or you're not in there with one of your your db abilities you really don't notice until it's too late or you until the game's halfway over and you can't really stop the game you can't really restart the game and i wish ea had that thing where they fix abilities or you could turn on abilities at halftime that would be great you know that feature that they put in like two years ago that doesn't work on competitive at all I don't understand it so long story short i'm an old bald idiot and i did not play with my left tackle joe thomas abilities and one of the toughest things about that is that i'm going to be playing against db fire where the slot corners are blitzing and i'm not going to know if they're blitzing ever so that's one of the most cheesiest abilities in the game and one of the, the abilities that have ruined defense in the game i'm not going to have so definitely sucks to be stupid and suck to make a mistake you can't restart the game especially once you've played too much of it it's just not a thing you can do maybe if i had known right away instantly we could have restarted but i did not see it because it's not something that really pops up it should have popped up on third down but one of the problems is hear me out boys i just played the guy that i want to play yesterday this is actually salty if you guys watch bot wars salty was played really good in bot wars has been a really good player for a long time i played him yesterday and won and yesterday, he never really blitzed. So the first third down, when I would use my threat detector, I didn't expect he wasn't blitzing. So I didn't expect to see threat detectors popping all up. He didn't blitz at all yesterday. So that I thought that was just how he was going to play defense. So I never really realized I didn't have threat detector until it was too late. So definitely tough. Something I should have realized, something I should have learned. But 
at the end of the day, it's a mental mistake, but it has doesn't have that big of a deal on the game. So I'll show you my lineup real quick. Uh, nothing really crazy different. John Elway, Sefi lead, high round master. Uh, we're going to have um, Fearless as well. Plexigo, Herman Moore, CeeDee Lamb, George Kittle, all with short ends. Uh, defense, we're going to have all deep knockouts, and we're going to have medium knockouts on our safeties. One of the changes I made, instead of having inside stuff, what I did was drop with Rod Woodson and put the fastest champ Bailey out there at corner. He costs me 3 AP with deep knockout and pick artist, but he's the fastest, best, newest corner out. So we've got to get our fastest corners we can get out there. That's the biggest change that I made, man. You guys know we're going to use her, Julius Peppers, and we're going to use her, Bo Jackson, Aaron Donald, Lawrence Taylor, and Kevin Green with Lurker, so hopefully he catches interceptions. That's the team. That's how we're going to rock New Orleans Saints playbook, and we're going to rock 4-6 on defense. Manturf.com below for all those ebooks. You can get my ebook, Vols, Skimbo, premium membership gives you everything. But let's get into the game. Here we go, boys. Like I said, I'm playing Salty. We played yesterday. I won that game in the ladders. Won that game in the ladders. We're going to get the ball first here, boys. Here we go. So, like I said, full breakdown, man. If you like these games, if you like this, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, like I said, we just played yesterday. I know how he plays. He's going to run a lot of DB ba dollar baseline, which is one of the tougher defenses in the game, honestly, for me. It's such a man meta, and I feel like tight. Tight is really a man-beating defense. It kills man. Now, zone, it doesn't have the quick beaters like Bunch do, and I'm honestly really not that good with – I'm great at beating zone, but quickly, real fast, because everybody is either going out like out out or in well i mean obviously you can go out or in or anything but uh it definitely is a little bit tougher to beat zone quickly with this um beating zone is easy but beating zone quickly is tough as you guys see he has i believe this is calvin johnson julius peppers carmichael hendrix literally the biggest players you can get here now what my goal is every time is to go ahead and run a motion out here run a streak to run off these deep blues because like I said, we just played yesterday. This is one of my strengths. Just played yesterday. I know that he's running cover four pressed. He loves that cover four pressed. So I, I was prepared for that max coverage. Uh, and he didn't blitz as much yesterday. So what I want to do is motion out a, a streak. Run. That's it. Motion out a streak. Run a corner route. Run a flat route. This is my high low right here. The streak runs off everybody. Uh, can I hit the running back or the corner route or a backside drag or whip route or something like that and get rid of the ball? In the first play, got the running back, dump it off. Good job. That's pretty much going to be my read. I read that one guy pretty much the whole time when he plays coverage right there. Am I going to read the slot corner? Because he's ran cover four so much. This guy, is he going to guard uh, Byers or is he going to guard the corner route? Now, honestly, we probably could have do the corner route if we waited. But you wait, that's when you get in trouble. These guys are shedding. We're going to get rid of the ball here. Boom, over the top. So not really aggressive defensive play for him on the first play. So now, once you get to the hash mark, now this is stuff that's in the ebook. Uh, once you get to the hash mark, you don't need the motion out because this this streak will now run all these guys down, and you don't got to motion out. So I almost motion out to the Y side. Now, that's what I'll do now. See, but it's really the same. It's the same thing every time. Beaten zone like this. Three man rush. It literally should be the same pass, but I want to hit the corner out there. I waited a little bit. Great pocket. Stepped up. Uh, feeling good so it's, it's really going to be the same pat the same route combo against zone every time this time a lot more pressure and we just get screamed at right there i mean <clears throat> where could i have gone with the ball instantly maybe the slant backside no i mean he does a good job guards this right here this guy i probably could have snapped throw but this is a hard flat here this guy drops down into yellow so this was really good defense for the play that i ran uh, of course, we don't block either of the corners. That's going to be a theme in this game here. Second and ten. Now we're going to flip it, I, I believe. Are we going to go? Yep, we're kind of going to go the other way here. Instead of going short side, we motion out. We're on the wide side. You know, because he put a lot of flat zones to the left. He was prepared for that route combo going left to right here. We're going to slide left. Our goal is to slide left here and my running back pick up this guy. That's what I want to happen. We slide left, ID right. That's what I want to do here. And it's working. It's working great. Just stand there, deliver the football. I got. I can't back up, and we back up into that sack. As we, as you guys see, we have X and Y. So honestly, there's a little bit bad pocket movement. I wish buyers didn't get shedded that quickly. That was tough. But if I stand there, we'll make a play. We'll go ahead and we'll we'll we won't give up. 
whatchamacallit, we won't give up that sack right there. But we've got third and 19 here. He blitzes again. We step up, and we get sacked. That time, we didn't get the same pass protection. This is where I would have loved threat detector. Right, but we didn't have it. We step up as best we can. Running back blocks nobody. 73 blocks nobody. I have to run from him. Why would have been a big play if not a touchdown? You know, so... Tough pass. Now we got a fourth and 18. Now, I mean, I'm going to punt here because we played yesterday. He was not good on offense. I felt like I'm going to get stops. Fourth and 18, if I give him the ball right here, he's already in field goal range. We, could we get 14? It's going to be literally a repeat of that play. So I'm going to punt. You know, I, I feel okay with this. I mean, maybe this is soft. I don't know, Chad. Let me know. Fourth and 18, is. I feel like this is a good, a good punt, especially against a player that didn't move the ball that well on you yet last game. Six-yard line, great punt. Got it done. He's in a little trips tight end, so I want to run 3-3. I know you guys will see me run dollar a lot, but I want to run 3-3 against trips tight end. And uh, he's going to run the ball and just nickel and dime me for the most part. That was a good run to start the game. I said, yeah, it, it's such a big deal that you played this guy yesterday. And I could show you that guy's game uh, if you guys want. Let me know in the comments. But uh, he played good defense, but I just really had good offense. So you see that throw right there was one with this off coverage that he went to a lot, that little snap throw wheel route. Um, so it's something that I want to try to adjust to later in the game, and we'll see how it works. Uh, but it's almost a fill-out drive, but he's just he's going to do a good job of nickel and diming and just really getting down the field as we get an incompletion there, or we get a run play he ran for no yards there. Another little another little quick flat pass, I believe. As you see, I'm in off coverage here. He audibles the tight. He's just going to run a little bench, gets a big play there. I was actually set up for trips tight end. And I'm starting to realize he's really not running too many plays out of trips tight end. Another inside zone, another box bagged up. Looking good. So we're looking good early on defense. He's got about 30, 20 yards out here, but because we punted, he's nowhere near field goal range yet. Again to that flat. So everything he's done so far is under five yards. Third and four right here. So I'd expect a little bit bigger of a play here. He only has a couple routes here. Oh, he had the. Oh, but we get a slant. He had the slant. But if you see my user here, I try to bump the tight end. I don't want to bump him this hard, but I just try to run. See, I, oh, man, but he had to slant if he'd made that read. Uh, deep route might have been open, but we had deep knockout on that guy. So we get a fourth and four early. Let's see. Let's see what he goes through. Fourth and four. Trips tight end. I got to worry about that flat route maybe, but does he have the cojones to throw that flat route for four yards? He just goes quick snap play action here and throws right at me. Like, I, like, this is a terrible read, but I'm so prepared for him to throw to somebody else. Watch this here. Like, I want him to throw to the tight end. I'm prepared for him to throw to the tight end and maybe click on, make a tackle, make a play. Same thing here. Corner route is wide open. So I'm ready for him to throw to, I mean, the corner route, these guys bumped so bad here, the corner route's a touchdown. So do I expect him to throw right, literally right at me? No, but he did, and... That's tough. That's tough there, boys. So, right there, I'm like, damn, I could have got off the field right there. I said I was not impressed with him offensively, uh, so that's why we punted early. Here we go with a hard flat on the left. Another little short pass right there. But, I mean, like I said, I have medium knockouts and deep knockouts, so short routes are the move against the man coverage, especially these dudes with knockouts. Here he goes with another short pass. So he has seven completions for 68 yards. About a 10-yard average. So everything, he's doing a good job of keeping things underneath. Right there, I have a deep blue for the C route and the corner route. I have a yellow zone for maybe tight end slants, things like that. Emotions, we're kind of in shambles here. And we do a good job. And, of course, if somebody bumps into somebody and somebody gets open. So, once again, another short pass. But this is a really good scheme here. Really good job um, by him of taking what's underneath and just a methodical drive. Uh, we should have got off the field there on that one where he threw right at me. But, boom, knocks the ball out here. Now, <clears throat> this is a change that I make right here. If you guys see me, we played yesterday, remember? And he caught a touchdown. One, time, one thing I like to do down here on defense is run two men under and put a yellow and a purple on one side and kind of lurk the other side. Three-man rush. But what he did was he threw a pass over my zones he put little routes to affect my zone so here what i did was change all my zones to 30 i'm on the 10 yard line now you guys know if you put your zones on 30 they don't go to the back of the end zone they're going to sit right here in the end zone 30 yard zones because i don't want him to run this tight end over the top 
and have my zones biting down on short little drags and whip routes and hitches. I want my zones to stay at the at the in the end zone. I don't want them to be affected by underneath routes here, because I know that's what play he's going to. Because he scored on it yesterday. So if you guys see my play art, here it is right here. At water curl, these are both on 30. So these are going to be a foot into the end zone. They're not going to drop back too far. So we're going to allow anything underneath. Everybody's manned up. I have to worry about a tight end, quick flat, and any slants coming left to right. Anything on the other side of the center here, I let the computer guard. This is my side. Three-man rush. I feel great about this defense with the zone drops because he, he's going to try to throw to the tight end. I know because he caught it yesterday. He caught this touchdown yesterday. That's what he's going to be looking for on the same exact defense. But I switched my zone drops now. So my zone should cover this right here. Same thing. I'm going to let the tight end go, get underneath, and boom. Perfect defense. We get the pick. No, we don't. He gets a touchdown. Atwater. <laughs> Edwater got to make that play for the boys. So we get a big. So, boys, this game has started bad. We got stopped. We punted. He just did a 94 yard drive. We could have got two picks. One, if I was paying attention and was ready to, for him to throw at me. Two, if Edwater just doesn't suck. You know, so it started bad. So let's go. Let's overcome. Let's do what we got to do. Uh, I've, been, I've been down before. You guys heard that many a times. Um, so, same thing. Here we go. This time he's blitzing. Cover DB fire. Make a read. Just get the ball out of your hands. Running back. Boom. Fires get off of me. Next one. Fumble. That's sick. Just when your game started bad, you he gives up a, fr a fluke touchdown. We come back, make the right read, get a big play, and we fumble. Keith Byers uh, breaks the tackle, then fumbles to some corner that grabbed me. So that was sick. Now we got to hold the door. Uh, I feel like if I keep playing defense, he's eventually going to make some mistakes. He's not a super high-power player. This is not, you know, Kiv or Clef or Henry or anything like that. So I feel like we can make some stops, but the game's going to get really short now. So we essentially got stopped twice now. Oh, that's tough. Here, he's going to hit Kittle. Big play. Nice job making a tackle inside the 10. Uh, I just want to run this to the two-minute warning. Trips tight end, he runs again. I'll use a timeout, try to get the ball back here before half. Same defense I ran last time. Underneath Peppers, just make sure he doesn't get to the sideline. Good tackles for the boys. Same defense I run here in the red zone. Love this. They're on 30 yards. Uh, I got to worry about quick flats for bench, stuff like that. Slants coming back the other side. Perfect. Good job. We get a sack. We hold him to three. We're down 10. No timeouts. We're going to get the ball back here. I don't really like to run bench because, like I said, I'm so he's such in cover four, cover four, cover four. He's not really super blitz happy. Here we get good protection, and then we don't. What I, I feel like as I'm watching this back, I feel like we're about to have great pass protection here, boys. I really do. Look at the snap of the ball. Look at this. This is beautiful pocket. We got three blocking three. We got the left tackle going out left. We got two people on this guy running back, and then. Joe Thomas just looped. God, that's frustrating. I feel like I'm going to have all day to hit A, hit B, high ball. I mean, but we get sacked. Joe Thomas just, like, I don't know what, maybe I stepped back too far again. But I just, when, at the snap of the ball, what I, I always like to have a general eye on the whole field, but more importantly, the box here, when I snap the ball, like, people, what do I look at? I kind of look at, like, you know, just a, a general, I take a general scan of this, the box area. And this looks like the perfect pocket. I didn't, maybe, I don't know, dude. If it's that delicate, I don't know. On this play, we didn't have a shot. We didn't have a shot to snap throw the ball. I just want to hit X here. We can't throw it tough so we're getting screamed at boys like this is one of the best defenses here against against what's it called against dot against a uh, tight now here i here once i start doing play action i kind of gave up on trying to block as we get a little bit of time here we're gonna dump the ball off here now 
I don't really want to go for this. Fourth and 11. He doesn't call timeout, so I'm a little bit like, should I milk it? Should I punt him the ball again? But my thought is, if I punt, he has all three timeouts. That's my thought here. He has all three timeouts. If I punt him the ball, even if it's at the 20, okay. Uh, more than likely, he's probably going to get in field goal range, which is like the 45-yard line. But even if I get stopped here, uh, it's going to be easier to stop him from a touchdown here. The, so I'm prob either way. My point is either way, I'm probably going to give up a field goal, right? That's my thought. I'm probably going to give up a field goal. So for me, it's worth it to risk it here because that way, uh, you know, I got a chance to score if I get this. Now we're not doing good on offense right here. We're gonna try to go back to play action, and this dude, this dude sheds instantly. This dude looks like he's about to scream at me, so I got no choice but to get rid of the ball. But he's got a six nine linebacker here and just just holds Y right there and just bags that. So we get bagged. So that's three stops. Two two good defense, bad offense, and one fumble. Uh so we're definitely between a rock and a hard place right now. Early boys. Um But like I said, I like I like my defense. I feel good. He runs here and this is something I get better at. He's gonna no huddle and he's just gonna quick snap. He's not gonna make any high routes, any anything. Quick snap here, and my corner bumps into somebody, and we give up a touchdown. So, uh, things that went bad got worse, got really bad. But we're down. We, we just need to get some points here. Once again, we get screamed at. I cannot block this corner slide protect off the left at all. Uh, we get sacked again the next play as we no huddle. My screen is shaking now. Corner comes off again. Tough, tough half. Tough half for the boys, but we can fight. Like I said, I don't think he's high-powered on offense. We got to make some stops. The game is going to get really short. As you, you see, he's running the ball here. Chewing clock, another run. We stop Byers. Byers has eight carries already. Uh, third and three. Here we go. Now, remember that that flat pass. Remember that? So, here, what I want to do is put... There it is. We put Calvin in flat. We throw Calvin in a flat. For that pass, I bait it by not pressing. Hard flat, Calvin swats it. Lawrence Taylor could pick it off. But, you know, Lawrence Taylor is tough. Lawrence Taylor runs right by it, so I'm not having fun. Fourth and three, this is for the game right here. Or not for the, yeah, well, not for the game, but <laughs> pretty much. I got two hard flats because I don't want him to run bench with little out routes. He goes for the play action play over the top. Knockout. So we get a stop. We're back. All we got to do is go down and score. We got to figure out some offense. We dump the ball off here to Plexigo Burris. Get a couple. Little short passes, man. We got to get some short passes going for sure. Another whip route there. Boom. Getting inside the red zone here. Here, but I'm starting to work. I'm starting to work these short passes. Here, I just want to hit a slot streak. He doesn't bring down his safeties, even though it's Peppers and Carmichael. So 6'8 and 6'8 or whatever. Six of whatever these giants down here. But I don't care. And that time Kittle gets bumped. Like, this is going to be wide open. We get perfect protection. If you guys watch George Kittle, I want to go corner route here. I want to. When we get good protection for once, three-man rush, and he just, like, bumps into him. And then instead of running to, the, you know, the one-yard line where he's going to be wide open, he runs to the back. Look where he's running. He's running almost straight down the field where if he runs to the goal line, we get an easy touchdown. Maybe I could freeform it and still catch that, but I didn't like it on first down. I didn't like that throw. I need to make sure I score a touchdown here. Here we go. Now I run this. I run this. I run this combo a lot down here, right? I run this a lot. Normally I put Y on a, on his post, but he has Hendricks and Atwater, and he might blitz. Uh, so if he blitzes, I'm looking at more because he hasn't moved this guy deep half, whatever he is. If he blitzes, I have this guy one-on-one -on -one or drag. It's either drag or Y if he blitzes because I know he's, if he blitzes, he's going to have coverage over here on the right. What's it going up top? Right at the snap, I see a blitz. I see this guy come down in man coverage. So I'm just, I'm just going to take a shot. One-on-one, -on -one, Peppers, Herman Moore. That's what should happen to a defensive lineman trying to play corner. So we get a touchdown. Now, I will tell you, my good friend, Big Gene, one of the best man players ever, told me I should go for two here. Why? Because if I have eight points, right? If I have eight points, he can score a touchdown, and it would be 24-8, to eight, meaning that I would only still be down two scores. 
Now, obviously, I'm not thinking about this. My thought is I have to get to the stop and get back in the game. Uh, but I should go for two here. 17 to 8 would be a lot better because if he scores, it would be 24 to 8, and I would just be down 16. So I'd still be down two scores. Now, you don't get you get you don't get into too many games where you're down 17 nothing. So that's I mean that's tough to really think, but uh, it is true. I should definitely go for two here, make it 17 to eight, give myself a chance if he scores another touchdown. But uh, him, he's just going to want to run some clock off. He's going to want to take this to the fourth quarter. Being up by 10, he probably feels good about that tackle there. Oh yeah, like you said. Completely milk. I dive right there. Give up another first down. I'm sure he. Oh, he runs play action here. And another another play where like Bo Jackson, you could put us back in the game here. You really could. First down pass here. Like Bo Jackson, you could make this play. Not. I mean, not a terrible play to make. I'm not asking too much of him. Am I? Am I asking too much of Bo Jackson right here to make this play? Like at least knock it out. But he catches it. Like keeps the clock running. Second and four here. We're going to get another audible. We get another run. Third and one here. As you see, we're already we're already closing. The game, the game gets really short really fast. Another run. We stop them right here. Now... I I wouldn't run for this after that. I wouldn't. And I, you see, I got the hard flat for that quick pass play. Now, so I'm not going to run commit. I thought about it. Run commit here could could get me right back in the game. And I'm like, ah, but if I give up a touchdown, I pretty much lost. Um, It goes back to me going for, I should have went for two. And maybe it'd be easier to run commit right here. But I don't think he runs here. I really don't. I think it's an obvious run commit situation. Uh, and my run defense was good last play. Not doing much, so. We're going to keep it stock. Uh, almost stop them. Tough. That's going to be the fourth quarter, boys. Already just like that, the game goes fast, especially when somebody has a lead on you. It's really tough. Uh, the game goes really fast. Here he goes. He's going audible tight again. And somehow I had nobody on T.Y. Hilton. I don't know. I don't know why this happened. I wish I could see my play art. I don't really show it. I don't know. I don't know why nobody... Somebody was on T.Y. Hill in every play. I couldn't tell you, boys. Did I come out in the wrong defense? Did I come out in, the, in linebacker blitz? I think I do. Wow, I think I do. Now, haven't really been running linebacker blitz. Been running like DB fire, so the slot... So the slot, yeah, I came on, I came on linebacker blitz. Wow. So linebacker blitz, my slot is actually on Ty, and I put him in a hard flat because I'm used to him being blitzing, and nobody was on Ty. And we give up a free touchdown. So now we pretty much lost, boys. We're cooked. <laughs> the goose is cooked. We give up a free touchdown. More worried about stopping the run and little stuff and uh, tough tough so here we go we're going to try to slide this is just my same thing we're going to try to slide right running back at that guy decent pass protection on this play even though he sent everybody the thing about it is the way you got to step up in the pocket is just nasty but this is great pass protection and we're actually going to hit Kittle over the top big play that's what we need to get back in the game that's what we need Running back wheel route. Maybe I do more of these type of route combos. But it's hard to do that now because I'm down by 17. So I got to get rid of the ball. And every little pass is taking 20, 30 seconds off the clock. So you want to try to design some things to get out of bounds. You want to try to, like, here we go. We'll just go for a corner route. Try to get. That's one of the things you can't take. A, you can't take 40 seconds at the line when the clock is running. So if the clock's running, your, first, your next play got to be a quick snap. Because the only way I get back is if I score quickly here. We want to dump the ball off in the flat, break a tackle, good, get out of bounds, clock stops. Same thing, get the ball, buyers out of bounds, clock stops. Literally same thing, this time it goes through my hand. Tough. 
And tough sack. So now we're just going to kick a field goal. Now, if I if I would have got that two point conversion, things would have been looking. A little, I wouldn't have kicked the field goal there. But now we're down by two scores. We just need to get a stop and get off the field. He's going to run here. <clears throat> well, that's okay. We get big sheds up the middle. He runs again. Third and ten. He goes for a pass play, but we get a sack. Nice. I call a timeout. Second and twenty. We got to go ahead and just. Try to score fast. We still have life here, boys. We get sacked on the first play, I believe. Once again, these dudes absolutely, absolutely just screamed at me all day. <clears throat> now, I thought the Texan wouldn't have made a big deal because my guards are doing nothing. Just tough. So, we get the two-minute warning. So, at the timeout I used was pointless. All right, we're trying to slide left. I want my running back to go to the other side, and my running back did absolutely nothing. Somehow I still do it. <laughs> like, I, I, I don't know, boys. I'm slide left, slide left. I want my running back to kick out right. Nobody did anything, but we hit the ball to Kittle. Big play. I spiked the ball because you need time. to. I, you can't have the clock running. Uh, so I spiked the ball here. Another big play to CD. We're gonna spike the ball again. Second and ten. Gotta get the ball in the end zone. There's no way I, I. There's no way I. You know I can't kick a field goal here. I gotta try to get out of bounds the best I can. Corner route, of course. Knockout gets me. Second and ten. Now we're gonna play action and try to block these guys. And the defensive end walks right in my backfield. That's always great. That detector would have helped here. It's third down. So we go play action, try to block the corners, and my right guard just gets walked right by. And we got 4th and 14 for the game. Just trying to hit a corner route, pulse route, anything here. And the clock is running. He blitzes everybody, and we get sacked. Hey. Like, we just can't pick up any of this. We gotta wait for the corner route. I could throw B, but you see Ted Hendricks is right there. Maybe I could throw to fit the corner route in right now. I just gotta throw it, but Champ Bailey's just here. It's like we're cooked. So that was it. GG's. Good game. That that was the game. Now we didn't get ball we didn't get ball a half. We kicked the ball off a half. We fumbled. We got stopped way too much. One of those games where you just absolutely get screamed at. Threat detector might have helped, but maybe only in a couple plays. Uh, my team didn't make the plays on defense that I thought I put them in a good position to make plays on defense. So, this is a tough game. That's why you always re or receive the ball in the second half. So, if things go bad in the first half, you can kind of make up for it. So, that definitely hurt me. But, ultimately, uh, just was not good enough on offense. Didn't try to run the ball. Uh I, I don't have too much success running the ball against Dollar, especially when they pinch their line. Uh, it really is tough, so I didn't want to waste plays doing that, but we just didn't get the pass protection we wanted that game. Uh, DB Fire, baseline press, trying to block those corners with just your running back has been tough this year. For me, uh, I've had the most success sliding towards the running back and letting the running back go to the other side, but that didn't work this game, you know, and Sometimes and when I'm really lost, I try to do play action. But when I did that, sometimes the DN walked in free. After all that, we did fumble too in the second, in the first half. That that killed a lot of the game, uh, and just the game was short. Tough game, decent, good player. Uh, it was only a 32-man tournament, so it was the final 32. So definitely tough. It was a lot of fun playing this week, and I'm glad you guys tuned in and watched. Wanted to show you guys how it ended. You guys keep asking me. I have tons of games from the ladders that I'll continue to post. Good games, good gameplay. So. That was it. Ultimately, it was a disappointing way to go out, but, I mean, you guys saw it. I mean, one of those games you just get screamed at. Made some mental mistakes, too. Most importantly, not having my damn abilities activated. And, you know, tough way to go out for sure. So I appreciate you guys rocking. I'm sorry to let you guys down. Going to keep trying to grind and put more effort towards this channel and all these other channels. And can't wait to get next year started as far as the competitive scene. But until then, we're going to keep grinding and keep pushing this channel as best we can. I appreciate y'all guys' support. If you like these videos, please let me know in the comments, boys.